Hello everybody. I'm David. Welcome to Cobblestone Garage. The next build. It's beautiful and it's not beautiful kind of way. <clears throat> the uh, After much research, this is a 1941 Oldsmobile Model 66. Uh, the, there's two of them, a 66 and a 68. One's a six-cylinder, one's an eight-cylinder. The VIN tag's missing off this, but I found some um, ignition parts in the trunk. So, yeah, it's a six-cylinder. Makes sense. That's the more common one. 32,000 of these were so made back in 41. Now, this happened to be in worse shape than I thought by the initial pictures. You know, these fenders have just been beat to shit. And I'm assuming somebody's trying to straighten them out, which they did, trust me, way better than I could ever think about doing. Um, roof is also in rough shape. Here's this, and I'll show you another on the other side. Uh, assuming a tree fell on it. But it's okay, because the doors still work. But I just want to get a good video of it, you know, before I start tearing into it. Um, this is getting frame swapped. Like I say, she needs needs a good cleaning. It's a little bit rough. I just noticed that, but that's the e-brake. See if I can get that freezed up, because it does roll perfectly fine. As you can tell, she's definitely had some water leakage here on the inside. I do plan on having a decent interior in this thing. After all, I do want to spend a couple hours uh, in a road driving this. You know, a couple thousand mile road trips coming up I'd like to do this spring and or this fall and next spring but this is what amazes me it just boggles my mind uh, what I've decided is to almost do like a uh, kind of a round track kind of car this is the kind of look I'm doing um, I'm putting it on a truck chassis so it's going to be wider than this. It'll be wide tracked. And I'm not going to clear the fenders. So what I'm probably going to do is run open fenders, you know, like it was in the picture, take the back fenders off, and go from there. Um, this car is more than sturdy enough to be a driver. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It would take a ridiculous amount of money to restore it. You know, it's missing a lot of trim, which I was hoping would be in the car. It was not. Here's the other. And it got into the door, but... <laughs> squeaky, but she works. Look at those handles. It looks like they caught fire. I'm assuming they just deteriorated. You know, these are neat. You got the, the let me out handle, the window handle, and the wing window handle. Uh, they are seized up, so I'm going to have to work on that, which, you know, that's all common stuff. This was a black car. It had kind of a tan interior. That clock. Radio delete, I think. And I'll probably take a sledgehammer and beat that back up. I don't know, metal back then was really tough. Even this one that's been in the roof. I mean, that's crazy. This fender's beat up in this corner. I mean, the car is almost 70 years old. I'm just happy it's in the condition that it's in. I hope to get the donor vehicle this weekend, and over the next week or so, get this all cleaned out, and get the body off this and the body off the truck I'm using. Um, the wheelbase, I want to think it's like 15 inches longer on the truck than it is this. I'm actually going to keep that long wheelbase. So the wheelbase will be longer and wider when I get done than it is now. It'll also sit higher. Hopefully not too high. We'll just have to see. I think she's going to be pretty. Can't wait, actually, to get started on it.
goal is to have this thing, you know, on the road here. Shoot, by September 1st, probably. Anyways, I just want to do a walk around of my 1941 Oldsmobile Model 66 before I tear into it. You know, it looks pretty unmolested for the most part. You know, beat up, battle scars, but in general, pretty complete. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyways, as always, just remember, build it, don't buy it. You all have a good day.